You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we are next going to be talking to UK Pit, but we're going to be talking all about how he's setting up a gym, but also talking a little bit about himself as well. Well, firstly, uh, thank you very much for talking to us. You're welcome, Daniel. I was wondering if we could start off by you telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I was born on the island. I've been on the island all my life. Uh, I'm 48 years old now, and my proper name is Ian, and... I started off in the wrestling game when I was 15, uh, started off as Kid McCoy and then I changed my name to UK Pitbull uh, 20 years ago. So why did you start to change your name then? Uh, well, I'm not a kid no more, <laughs> so I had to change my name from that and uh, I sort of changed tactics to the wrestling style as well, so that's why I went to UK Pitbull. Now, you were uh, telling me there used to be two well-known uh, wrestlers here on the island, so I hope you could expand on that. Yeah, yeah, years ago when it was on TV Saturday afternoons, there was a wrestler called Dr Death. Uh, he actually lived in Warden Bay. And there was a wrestler called Les Kellett, and he was in Sheerness. Now, I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about how you've been uh, helping to raise money for charity. Yeah, uh, once a year we actually do a big wrestling show in August at the CNS East Working Men's Club for two CNS charities, which is Own for Heroes and a little lad who's got the severe cancer and needs to go to America for a severe operation called Oliver Smith. So what does uh, that day involve? Uh, that day involve it's just a normal sort of like a wrestling show, uh, it's, I actually organise it from start to finish. Uh, I actually go around all the shop owners and businesses on the island, get them to sponsor the day, uh, get them to donate raffle prizes for a big massive raffle on the night. Uh, I organise all the wrestlers to come down on the evening. I put all the posters out and I show the tickets on the door and in advance. And... We've been doing it for four years now, and every year we've done it, it's got bigger and bigger and better and better. We are at the moment talking to UK Pitbull right here at BRFM on the Monday Night Community Show. So we are at the moment talking to UK Pitbull. Now, uh, I understand that um, you're setting up a gym. Yes, uh, I've been setting up for a while now. Uh, we've actually got a, a building over in I Wade at the moment, on the I Wade Industrial Estate. Uh, we want to get something on CNS. Uh, I've got a couple of things lined up. Uh, till that day, it's uh, bookings only. Uh, we do any day you want over there. Uh, but obviously, you've got to ring up and book the days in advance. So is it a gym aimed mainly at wrestling or is it a general gym? It's a bit of both really. Uh, we actually do aim him for a wrestling gym. Obviously we're trying to bring uh, youngsters into the game because uh, us olds can't do it forever. But then we do a bit of weight training and a bit of keep fit training as well. So why did you decide to uh, do this? Uh, why did I decide to do it? That's a good question, actually. Uh, when I was a kid, I actually watched it on Saturday afternoon on TV with my mum and dad. And my dad actually got into it, and I thought I would follow his footsteps. And I went to one day uh, to a local show, then I started talking to him. I started helping out, putting the ring up and a bit of this and a bit of that and then one day he said to me do you want to train and I said yes and it went from there So what will its uh, aims be then? Uh, my aims be now oh, not a lot really because obviously I've only got a few years out of it uh, obviously I wanted to get a few championships under my name uh, which I have at the moment I'm actually the Kent champion European champion and the Intercontinental champion and 
I would like to get to the world, but I can't see that because uh, I'm getting too old for it now. But I think over the years, what I've done, I have got to my uh, ties as much as I could, really. Now, uh, you were telling me about uh, an event you've been in, and I know you've been in different events. I was hoping you could tell our listeners a bit more about that. Yeah, we do events all up and down the country, uh, all over the world. Uh, last week, I was actually in abroad resting for the uh, intercontinental one uh, I'm actually going to Paris on the 24th to defend me intercontinental title and we do CNS once a year and then we do sitting around Scotland holiday camps uh, fates, carnivals etc so uh, a fair amount of travelling then oh yeah yeah uh, when I was doing it full time, uh, we could, I could knock up sort of like two to three thousand miles a week. You know, one day I could be in Scotland, next day I could be in Wales, next day I could be over on the Isle of Wight. So uh, coming back to the gym, when and uh, where will it open? Well, it's open at the moment over I Wade. So if people want to train up in that, obviously they can contact me and I can give them more details. Uh, but we are in talks with a school on the island where we can use their uh, their gym hall at the moment, where we can put a ring in. Uh, that will do for temporary, but I would like my own place, equip it all out with a ring that can stay there every day and all the weights and everything all in there day after day, really. So keep putting it in and out, in and out. So if our listeners would like to find out more, is there any way they can uh, contact you? Yeah, they can ring on 07952 791 087. Uh, that's the best number to catch at daytime or evening. And then I can give them a lot more information and we can always suit it to their needs. So if they are working or if they're at school, we can sort different times out. Uh, sometimes I train through the daytime for some people and then some I do in the evenings and some weekends. So you're very flexible to work with individuals? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously we've got different people who do different times and that. Obviously sometimes when I'm travelling up and down the country I've got to fit that in but you know that's why it's all booked in advance then we can sort it all out and make arrangements for both of us to suit together. Well, thank you very much, Pitbull, for uh, telling us all about how you're getting on and uh, all about your uh, gym and uh, wrestling. You're welcome, Daniel.